Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure 2. In the last episode if you don't remember we went ahead and we helped Shadow Rouge and so uh, Shadow Rouge and Eggman, I don't know why I tried to say Sonic there, but we helped them all get on over to the, uh, the Ark, the Space Colony Ark, and we learned that in order to fire off the huge laser that we're going to see later in the story, we need to get a bunch of Chaos Emeralds, and so that's what we're doing right here. We're searching for Chaos Emeralds now, and this level, from what I've seen in the fandom, is a pretty notorious level for just not being the best, because we start off... Oh, hey, there's a Chaos Emerald. We start off with uh, Rouge saying that she says that she says that she can do the level in uh, five minutes instead of shut up, Eggman. Uh, she can do the f level in five minutes instead of fifteen, which already is like, come on, give me more time than that. And just in general, it's not like this place is hard to navigate. It's just weird. I, I was super close there to getting the emerald. I don't know why. Because it's got to be around here. Alright, so it's yellow here. It might be behind one of these doors. Which means I'll have to go up. What do you have to say for the hint? The letter L. Alright. Oh, is it right... Not right here. Is there another thing that says block? Not you. Okay, so it's not over here. Shut up, Eggman. I'm trying my best, okay? I'm working hard with what I've got. Down here, perhaps? Nope. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to fail this level, just because I've only got three minutes left, and it's not going well. I mean, I found the first one pretty easy. It was, like, right up here in the corner. But this second one I'm starting to struggle with. Maybe it's around here somewhere, but I'm not getting yellow anywhere. Hint number two. Red floor. Okay, that gives me something. So... Is it you? Okay, it's not over to the right there. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was red. Uh, it's some oh. okay it's in here so if in order to get into those vaults uh, you need to actually go up here and you need to uh, so we want to open the red floor and I was that was block a I believe or block B so the red floor is over here we need to make our way across you get brought up there. Alright, you flick that switch. Alright, so that's Chaos Emerald number two for us. It was, yeah, right over here. It can be a bit finicky trying to actually get it, but there we go. We have one minute left. Let's see if we can find the final one. Get it, you clown. I don't know, I didn't really have a good insult there. I'm not good at coming up with insults. Oh, okay. In 40 seconds, I need to go go up, flick the yellow switch, and then come back down. Okay. Come on. Jump over the whole thing. Come on, hit that. 14. I'm probably not going to be able to do it. 7. Yeah, no. 
Ah, so close. And now we have to start all over because I missed one. That's not even how it works in other stages. Black and yellow stripes, okay. Okay, purple. Yeah, like she just said, one more left. It's floor and also a sea. Okay, I, th I was just about to say, what the hell does that mean? But I think I might know. Although now that I think about it, that could apply to many things on in this level, so... What do you have to say? A high place, okay. That gives me something to work with. Is this thing always here? I was just about to complain about there not being an easy way to get up to different floors. I would normally just rush right past these guys and just damage boost, but I obviously don't have rings right now, so... Need to be very careful. Sky above the switch room. Okay, that... That sort of gives me something there. Although I don't really get what the hint is about being... Ow! Oh, damn you! Okay, actually, that might have been perfectly fine. Now what's the hint? Six safes. Okay, I can... I can do a thing. Six safes. Six safes sounds like a part of a, like a weird tongue twister. Like, silly Sally, shyly, sat on six small saves or something like that. Okay, yellow. I have a minute and ten left. I'm gonna go up there, flick the switch for a yellow, and I'm pretty sure I should win, and we won't have to deal with this level again. I've spent half the level, or ha half of this episode on this one level alone. Oh! A second okay so now that you're good 30 seconds left in 30 seconds all I need to do is just go down here fly on over here and where are the six saves oh right they're over in the corner go around very close There we go. If that, like, weight had crushed me, like, right as I was about to pick up that Chaos Emerald, I would have been quite exasperated. I guess I took a little too much time. Y yeah, we did. I've spent, like, half the episode on this one level. I can't believe I've come this far. To fail. This is Flying Dog Headquarters. Intruder found entering security board. Preparing to attack. Copy that. Alright, Flying Dog. Another, another one of these bosses. There. Get you. I just realized I haven't been talking throughout this boss fight. I guess I was just so exhausted from 
the previous Rouge level that my brain just needs a break, so I'll probably add in some post-commentary or something along those lines. And plus, there's not much to commentate about when it's the same boss fight that we've seen before. There we go. Very nice. Not bad, huh? I'm pretty strong, all right. This is Rouge. I've got a small problem. I can't believe that I'm trapped inside this locked safe with a Chaos Emerald. I guess I won't be able to call myself a treasure hunter anymore. White Jungle. Like Green Forest before it, this is a super cool stage as we quickly race to the end of the level. And, uh, I get that, you know, because you, you have 10 minutes to complete this level and 15 minutes in total for the bomb, that they kind of had to only give you 5 minutes for the previous level to make it make sense. However, it's still super annoying to see that if you take five minutes to complete the level it explodes anyway but there's still 10 minutes left on the timer just uh, I don't know I, I get it. we're getting close to the end of the game and they want to give us some challenge but there are uh, I would say there are less annoying ways to do it I don't know why that didn't work for a second there are uh, there are less annoying ways to do it but I I guess the purpose of challenge is to be, be annoying at first, but I don't know. Sorry if your favorite level is Security Hall, it's just that I'm personally not the biggest fan of it. We'll say it does have some pretty good music though, even though every level in this game I'm pretty sure has good music. That was pretty cool there, walking on air. I don't know if that was intentional. I'm pretty sure I, I probably should have been able to... I probably should have been going faster there to make it look better. But I don't know. I still thought it was cool regardless. I didn't know you had an electrical shield. Goodbye. Now let's continue. This looks very familiar. This is where we got an upgrade in the hero story. I'm just not on my A game today. But one grievance that I do have, although I'm not the kind of person who like blames all of Ah, oh, come on. I'm not the kind of person who like blames all of their own issues with like note skill on the game I'm not the kind of person to blame all of their issues on skill on the game also by the way basically we got the light speed dash I'm not that kind of person but one issue that I do have with the Sonic games especially like from 1991 to like I don't know just one issue I have with a lot of Sonic games is it feels like once you get closer to the end of the game it just feels like... Oh, Big the Cat, by the way. It just kind of feels like they start making the enemies more ridiculous and more annoying. Like, to give an example for that, uh, Sonic 2... Great game. Absolutely love it. But once you get to Metropolis Zone, I think it was, that final level, enemy placement is just so annoying and it's super hard to get through without being frustrated. That wasn't so hard. Hey, that's... That blue hedgehog again of all places. I found you, Faker. Faker? 
I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! Huh. You're not even good enough I'll to make be you my eat those pet. words. Time to face off against the man himself, Sonic the Hedgehog. Homing attack him, just defeat him the same way you beat Shadow. Homing attack him, and then attack him from behind. Also, Big the Cat is in that crate down there. Uh, I forgot to mention that previously. But there we go. Sonic is down. No time to hang out with the likes of you. Shadow, what do you think it's like on Earth? The professor said his life's work was dedicated to all of those who live down there. He once told that the reason for his existence was making people happy through the power of science. Shadow... Maria, I just don't know anything anymore. I often wonder why I was created, what my purpose is for being here. Maybe if I go down there, I... I will find the answers. Maybe. Maria. Why so melancholy? That was so unexpected. So unlike you, Shadow, to come and rescue me. But your ability to use the chaos control certainly comes in handy. You know, I didn't come to save you. I came back for the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, yeah, but then again, that's not the whole story, is it? Everything is ready to go. Are you sure? We only have six of the seven Chaos Emeralds, you know. That's more than enough for the demonstration. So let's get the show on the road. Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears and listen to me very carefully. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist, and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now witness the beginning of the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> you so upset? Well, that was really impressive. You've managed to create complete havoc on the whole planet. Does this now mean we control the planet and can do as we choose? At this rate, the cannon will take too much time to charge up. If you want to unleash its full potential, you'll need all seven Chaos Emeralds. Where in the world have you been? Something happened? Our threats fell on deaf ears. Look at you, throwing a tantrum like a little kid. How totally embarrassing. Don't forget your end of the bargain, fat girl. What about that last chaos emerald? 
we had a deal, right? So where is my emerald? Here you go. I found this. Why didn't you show me this before? This station square saved from a life-threatening missile attack. The city has awarded its famed prize to the boy who saved Station Square. Miles Tails Per Hour was given the Chaos Emerald as a testament of its heroic deed at a ceremony held at City Hall. <clears throat> this makes things a whole lot easier. Hurry, go back to Earth and find them fast. I want that Chaos Emerald! Did you get that? Soon enough, Maria. This is Rouge reporting. Currently, I have not been able to confirm that Shadow is the ultimate life form or not. I will continue my research on Project Shadow and have a follow-up report very shortly. Just a reminder, don't forget about my jewels. Alrighty, so this is actually where we're going to go ahead and end off the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and chase after the tornado. It's kind of abrupt here, but, you know, uh, Tails is chasing after the president, so we're going to chase after him. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!